Hi everyone, thanks for joining and this is my submission for the clamshell technique and um, I didn't have a super successful time but I did want to share some of the positive things that I was able to do and um, show you guys my tips and tricks. Uh, first thing that you want to do is when you're setting this up is make sure you have something underneath your mold so as you pour you can slowly take away the height of the mold. I also found that when I was pouring, if I held the base of the thing and kind of did more of a wiggling action, it kept my hand steadier while I was pouring. Um, this first one is me actually my first attempt and it came out really good except for when I finally cut the soap about a week and a half later the soap was still really mushy and it actually started to get kind of chalky so I think there was something wrong with my actual recipe um, but it was kind of a shame because the design did come out pretty well on this one and I wanted to submit the photo. I chose to do the only like the half because I also didn't measure my batter right and I didn't have quite enough to fill it so I just made what I could with what I had. Then my second attempt I did do a different recipe that I've used before and it just had simple ingredients and I just wanted to use the things that I had on hand. The first ingredient that I used was Crisco oil or you can use any vegetable oil and this just um, is kind of a filler oil or you know a vegetarian option for lard I guess you could use it um, then I also added coconut oil and then I added olive oil again these are just oils that I had readily available for me and easy for anyone to be able to use if you're looking to you know make your first soap or something and then I just did the lye water solution and mixed the ingredients until they were at a light trace and I didn't want to do it until they were emulsified because I was worried I'd have that issue again of the oils and stuff separating while I was working with the batter. I actually attempted making this soap a total of three times. My second attempt I'm not going to show just because it turned out so bad. I had a false trace and I realized it halfway through because the oils were separating that I had to stop and just kind of mix all the soap together so I got a really muddy brown color so almost gray. Um, I did want to show that when you're pouring the two colors together that if you kind of go back and forth on the side of the container it does help keep the colors a little bit more balanced in your pot so that way it doesn't get muddy and mixed. So that was just a little tip I wanted to share with you guys. Now on my third attempt, everything came out fine. I think when I first started pouring, the batter was still a little bit too fluid, but it was working great. The only issues that I had with the soap, and I thought at the time it would make the soap come out better, but in the end it didn't, um, is I did end up putting this in the oven for about an hour or so, and just to kind of help it force gel well I haven't used these colors a whole lot and the pink color that I used ended up turning more of a kind of dark purple and the darker purple color is kind of black so the I lost the contrast in the design and it was hard to see so next time I make that soap I probably won't do that and see as you can see at the end it was kind of a nice pink and if I would have just let it cured regularly um, it would have, I think, kept those colors because I had some extra soap that I poured in a different mold and the colors were a little bit better contrasted. All of the coloring that I used for this video and today and the fragrance oil were from Nurture Soap. And in the first soap I used some of their neon pigments plus activated charcoal. And then the second one I used Peace and Love for the fragrance oil. And then their Berry Twist Mica and uh, the Blackberry Mica. And if you enjoyed watching this video today, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I'll be posting more videos with different soap techniques and recipes. Thanks for watching everybody!